Hi, my name is Green Foxy. I'm now 737, 732 pounds, and this is like in like a year since I for, for since I made my reaction video. So today I'm gonna react to a YouTuber called Christian Diagato or whatever his name is, and two videos that may remind you or, or may remind me of some. Memories from 2017. Alright, so the first video we're going to react to is waiters who gave customers exactly what they they ordered. Now, let's be real. Waiter, customers ask waiters what they want, and but the waiters end up bringing them the craziest orders or craziest results as craziest things that come out as a result. So, and the thumbnail shows, what the frick is that? Ice cream sandwich? No frick, right? There's a freaking ice cream bar only if the, f if, only if the, if the wipers were taken out and it was placed in a sandwich. That is just crazy. But I'm pretty much, pretty much that's from a source or something, but I'm pretty sure the one that is going to be in the video is going to be a little bit different. Who knows? Alright. On the different parts of the body. Alright. The first second I see that there's, um... Patties without the burger and only ketchup. Really, McDonald's? Wow. He ordered a cheeseburger. And plus, I don't own the copyrights to any of to this video from Christian. I know he's a pop awesome guy, but he makes a lot of good videos. But just this is give me the first video I'm gonna react to this today or tonight. And the second ones, or possibly the third ones, will probably be something around, uh, may remind me of memories from 2017. You'll see why. With only ketchup. Oh my god, where's the burger? Exactly. What is up everyone and welcome back, back to, to another, another video. video. Another one. Oh my god. <laughs> so many videos. Alright, so I'm actually pretty excited Hilarious. about this video because I was a waiter for a while oh, at yeah. one point. And it worked with some pretty crappy waiters, let me tell Probably. you. Customers would ask them for extra things or something on the side yeah, or whatever. Exactly. And they would just f*** it up. They would f*** it up or yeah, they would give them literally me. exactly what they yes. asked for. If they said, hey, can I get some onion rings on the side, actually? They would bring them out a little bowl of onion rings. Literally onion rings. Like onion rings. Exactly. And I'm just sitting in the back like, oh, God. well, that's embarrassing. So today's video, if you've seen by the title, yep. is waiters who gave customers exactly what they ordered. Literally what? exactly what they ordered. Now, I've exactly. seen a lot back in my day. I've seen a lot. So I'm actually excited to see wow. what else waiters have up on. So let's do this. Let's dive into the video. She asked for sour cream on wow. the side. Oh my god. He literally put sour cream on the side of the damn taco. What is now, wrong with you, Taco Bell? Taco Bell. Jesus. Really? These are the employees Whoa. hiring yeah, sour cream on the That's side. I extra agree. on the side. Not literally. I agree with Christian on this. Taco Bell. This is the reason why Taco Bell shouldn't put sour cream on the side of the freaking tacos. Speaking of sour cream um this may be considered willy wonka reference so back in 1993 nightmare mangle said the ingredients one of them being well actually old fry old gone fry interrupted her and said was sour cream last and then said what's for dessert nightmare mangle and i can tell why but this is a little bit more different yeah speaking of willy wonka this two third the two the second three videos will be will be Willy Wonka related, which might bring a lot of memories from me from 2017. You'll see why. Yeah, I'm mad. I'm kind of mad at this. I agree with Christian on this. There's no way that Taco Bell would ever put sour cream on the side of people customers' tacos. That is just insane. Taco Bell, you have one job. 
just put the sour cream in the taco and you'll be fine. But instead, he's probably a lazy worker who just hates his job and he just wants to make fun of the, wants to mess with the customers. So he just puts sour cream on the side. What's wrong with the, the person? I'll just let Christian explain or go for this. On the side of the taco, what are you supposed to do with that? You're supposed to lick it off the side? Yeah, you scrape it off with your finger? Now you've created a mess. It's no longer on the side. It's literally on the side, and it's a mess that needs to be cleaned up. You can't enjoy yeah. your meal. You got sour cream flying out of all places. <laughs> you literally put sour yep. cream on the side of the taco. Can I also get some ketchup on the side? Oh, sure, no problem. There you go. See? This is yeah, what happened exactly. to me. I worked with one of the people said. I worked with literally onions, did this to somebody, and I was like, what are real. you doing? Onion rings, like the actual onion yeah. rings. What are you supposed to do with that? Seriously, you cry? cry this I really know, cry. Cry. Do you want the customer to cry? Is that I what you exactly want? Because you're giving them a freaking onion in a box on the side. Wow. Like, you need that. That's I mean, I, I personally wow. like raw onions, but customers don't want that. They wanted onion rings on the side. Yeah, Damn exactly. It. She ordered coffee with cream. Coffee with cream. Wait. Cream. Ice cream, really? Oh my gosh. Stop. I had to stop saying these Willy Wonka references before I get too much flashbacks. But anyways, what the frick? There's supposed to be the cream, the whipped cream, on the top of the coffee, not on an extra plate. What's wrong with coffee shops? Usually Starbucks or many coffee shops are supposed to put cream on the coffee, not on an extra plate next to it. What's wrong with most coffee shops? See, this is what happens when you don't go to Starbucks, because Starbucks has got it down pat, okay? You ask them for a mochaccino frappolata, hakalaka, sakalata, flappe, sate, and they know to put the cream yeah, on top exactly. of that. It's a thing. Every coffee comes with cream on well, top. Mostly. She obviously went to some random coffee shop and asked for cream with the coffee, and they just got a random <laughs> yep. bowl and said... Yep. There's your cream, ma'am. Can I get you anything else? Oh, no, can I get the cream on the cream? <laughs> can I get you anything else? All right, let me guess. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I exactly agree with Christian. Let me guess. Pizza overfilled with pepperonis. That's just insane. Speaking of pizza, mostly the... The places in my city in the Toys of Zion are mostly restaurants with pizza that my friends are in, but there's no way that any of them would make a pizza that's overfilled with pepperonis. That's just insane. I bet my question is gonna say it's not gonna look like a pizza anymore. That's what I'm thinking. Let me guess. Let me guess. Yeah. Extra pepperoni. Yep. Am I right? Yeah. Am I right? Yeah, you're this right. Man asked you're for extra right. I guess they you were right. Literally, actually, exactly. Extra right. pepperoni. Yeah. Extra. The term extra is just like a lot. A, a ton. ton. A lot. Yeah. Just exactly. Extra. Just I more than a ton. For just in case I run out of pepperoni in the first bite, the second bite I want to be filled back up not with pepperoni. That much, That's not even a pizza really? anymore. That is literally yeah, a piece of dough. I was going to say. 17 pounds of meat on it and a little bit of cheese. Say, uh, would you like some pizza with this pepperoni? Or are you just going to eat this big bowl of pepperoni? Suggested things cool. I seem to really legit. I'm not checking you out. Extra. He ordered a cheese yeah, with only ketchup. Yeah, oh that's what I saw in the first second. Yeah, he exactly. I agree with that. I exactly agree with Christian on this. We got to be tightening up on the freaking employees. We can't be making this kind of mistake. No, yeah, I agree. McDonald's should never do this ever again. Yeah, and it's just. I agree with him. Whenever I would ask for cheeseburgers without ketchup, they always end up. They always end up bringing me with just burgers without. Oh my gosh, hamburger, but they replaced it with. Only lettuce with, I guess with a burger, but you, come on. That's not how burgers work. Forgot. That's a kind of a cool way of saying forgot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to add that for a little bit later in the story that I'll have to tell you guys because, oh my gosh. That is just weird. That is just weird for a, a fast food restaurant. Putting lettuce, just lettuce as the buns and the <clears throat> and extra lettuce. I bet that 
instead of doing that, you could make f seven more burgers with that. That are not just buns that are just covered in lettuce. No. Wow. Guys, you know this. If you order a lettuce burger, you're just getting pieces of lettuce yeah, with exactly. meat inside of it, and they wrap it up. What are you supposed to do with 40 pounds of lettuce? Do you know how big this probably is? This burger is probably, no joke, this big. How? How? First yeah, of all, second exactly. of all, that's a waste of lettuce. You can make what? four more burgers with that lettuce. That's like four seven more. lettuce wrapped burgers. Lettuce burgers. Well, lettuce actually, wrapped, 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 wrapped in lettuce. Burgers wrapped in lettuce. <laughs> Look, I love to just oh great, now Christian is acting like it's a sexual thing, but not actually. And when he said how, how and got to how much the burger was like tall, I just, I, just, I thought I just saw like, like the height that I was in the image here. You'll see what I was. You'll see what I'm talking about after this. Oh I my gosh, that's insane. Already on the really? The seasoning? Ah, what? Listen, I'm gonna call this out. I oh yeah, I called it because because in thumbnail it look weird, but actually that duh would look appetizing if I ever ever go back to McDonald's. But I'm pretty sure the employees would see that I'm I'm 732 pounds and wouldn't be. But I'm pretty sure I would also have trouble with the door. Yeah, I would probably. I would probably tell them to just put ice cream in a sandwich, and they would just be all like, "Okay," and or and then and I end up asking for forty nine. I might end up asking for forty nine, and may end up end up end up end up having a bigger, bigger belly than I already have. That would be amazing. Sandwich, yeah, and the guy I'm ice guessing cream with Christian too. Oh my god, how, how original! You know? Don't they sell ice cream sandwiches? Yeah, like, isn't look, ice cream sandwich I think like no, they don't. Thing? Like an actual like product? You don't make an ice cream sandwich out of bread and ice cream. I would literally go back in there, like, okay, everybody, can everybody please take a look at this? Now I asked the waiter for an ice cream sandwich, and he gave me a f***ing sandwich with ice cream in it. I'm so glad that he's like adding sound effects to. It. Prevent him from cursing. That's so awesome. What's so cool? Even how right now it's getting a little bit um a little bit um yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's the stuff out of diabetes. Extra cup. Two cups of Coke. It's fair enough that I already have a huge, huge stomach in the first place. Which, whatever I feel, it feels nice. But if I drank this, then I would end up having a bigger belly than I already have. And plus, my friends, just like me, have bigger stomachs. And just like Foxy said in his video, that that his friends, including me, are, have giant stom stomachs or bellies. Well, uh, he's right about that. And plus, oh my gosh, why do waiters go this stupid just to can be confused by customers about certain products and uh, it kind of looks like it went into having people or even me or my friends into having bigger, bigger bellies than ever. Uh, I mean, hey, I'm just taking a wild guess here. I see a cup with coke and then another cup inside the yeah. cup with coke. The guy asks for a coke if you even try an extra cup. And drink it, then and coke all the coke ends up sloshing all over yeah. you. Yeah. If I ever went to him and I saw, and I and get this, I'll probably ask for school. Or super school. And then I would end up walking out of the restaurant with a huge, huge belly. So, guess I'm gonna have to just drink this by myself. Okay, this girl 
Wow. That, how original. How original. For a waiter to be this stupid to put one pepperoni on this person's pizza. Usually pepperoni pizza would be overfilled. Not that overfilled. You know, the original pepperoni pizza. But this type of pizza, no one would fall for. No one would fall for it. But there has been a time where there were, like, one time where, um, in Fray Fatner Pizzeria, one of my friends made the pizza, which, um, was a weight gain pizza. And when everybody was done, everybody ended up, um, feeling full, aka them having giant bellies. Pretty much. Wow, that's pretty messed up. That's pretty much messed up, messed up for a waiter to give a person a pepperoni pizza with only one pepperoni and the rest is cheese. My God, what the guys. Fuck? Where's the fine line? Where's the line drawn? Yeah. You got pizza oh yeah. I, pepperoni wait, I I forgot that I saw that that the person didn't use the the freaking lining. Now that is what I hate. I don't you hear that in the moment when someone pizza, doesn't use the pizza, pizza cover pizza, and everyone is forced to just eat the pizza exactly you like for. they're just... But the only problem is a pepperoni pizza to the rest of the world has pepperoni on the yeah, pizza. Exactly. Not one piece I... that was like accidentally dropped on the Probably. pizza. Probably. He was like making the pizza. Yeah, I'm guessing what happened. A guy walks by, he or that way it must have been really stupid. Oh, dropped it? Oh, that's alright. Who cares? Oh, no way. Can you drop a few more of those on here? Yeah, who cares? Anyway, she asked for pepperoni pizza. Send it to her. Wow. Alright, guys, this is the last one. <laughs> the lady asked. Really? Really? This person asked for orange juice. But then the cup ends up being almost the size of the salt shaker. What's wrong with yours? What's wrong with them? The waitress for a small orange juice. The man literally gave her a shot glass with orange wow. juice in it. It is not even bigger than a salt shaker. If you guys know What's salt shakers are about this big. Do you remember how no. small that glass Stop. of orange juice was? Anything to drink for you guys? Can I get a uh, small orange juice, please? Sure, no problem. Right away. Get my Seriously, tweezers? Here. Really? There you go. Wow. There you go. There's your orange juice. What were the other sizes? If that's small, what was a medium? Is a medium like a small? Do you have to ask for an extra large orange juice? Well, back in 2017, my size was like, eh, like a medium. But you'll find out. Just to get like an actual. But if you've seen, like, if you looked over YouTube or the internet, then you'll see what I'm talking about. Portion size orange juice? Wow. Or is it like a pepperoni pizza? You ask for an extra large and they come in like. <laughs> that was really a huge, huge cup filled with orange juice. That would take hours for them to fill. Large orange juice? Ooh. Wow. Well, enjoy. All right, guys. Well, that concludes this video. Yep. Thank you so much for yep. watching. Comment down below. Let me know which one of those was your favorite. My personally was the pepperoni one because the guy just put like 18 pounds. Yeah. Make sure you subscribe to Christian because he's a good YouTuber. All right. Next is Nostalgia Critics Old versus New Willy Wonka versus Charlie. And if you don't know who Nostalgia Craig is, I'm pretty sure you've seen all the memes that he makes. Now, it's time for him to compare which film is better. Willy Wonka, which was made in 1971, or Charlie, which was made in 2005. And, um, and you'll go, and I'm gonna talk about a lot of stuff that's related to this. Alright. Really? I've been staring at the edge of the water. Yep. Time to see what ha time to see Nostalgia Creek. See which film is better. Willy Wonka or Charlie? Alright. So you yep. don't have to. And welcome to another installment of Old vs. New. Ah, uh, yes. Yep. Yep. Exactly. You wanna know what I love? Tim Burton. 
Yep. Every time you see a movie by him- I agree with Nostalgia Critic now. Tim Burton films are just amazing. And, and, the music is just fabulous. But, when it comes to, like, bad films, uh, it doesn't really matter. But if you try to do it in real life, that's when problems begin, and you'll see what I'm talking about. I mean, there has already been one time where Toy Freddy reenacted a show, and that involved me being the Daredevil. Because, of course, I was the Daredevil. And I can tell why Toy Freddy picked me as a Daredevil. Yarin, gonna know soon. Yeah, I agree in the starter critic. Tim Burns films are just mind blowing. You know, it's always gonna be dark, yep. strange, and goofy. Exactly. That is, except when he reimagines stuff. Oh. We all know what a powerhouse now remake I Planet of the Apes was. That. So I wasn't very enthusiastic when he was remaking one of my childhood favorites, Willy Wonka and the Child. Okay, so yeah, you already get the picture. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, when it came out, people hated it. And of course, the characters that you see in the poster is, of course, Willy Wonka, played by Johnny Depp, Mike, TV, Gustus Gloop, Charlie, Violet Bogart, whose clothing is pretty much exactly like mine, and Vruka. So, yeah. I'm pretty sure that I can go to say that that the violet inflation scene in both films are the first one is eh, kind of yeah but the 2005 version is way more better even I went for the experience well I almost like caught well I almost swelled up into one I mean my arms didn't suck into my body or my arms didn't but the umbo still rolled me to and plus a little bit of help, um, well, anyways, I'm getting, yeah, I, I feel good for Johnny Depp, but, but for Charlie and Chalk Factory, yeah, people didn't like his parents, you'll see why. When I saw the trailer for this movie, I really thought it was gonna blow. Yeah. You can't top the original, no way, no how. Yeah. But, much to my surprise. Yep. I was totally right. Yep. I yeah. it was the worst film, but I just don't think it I held a candle to the original. Him. Is this just the thoughts of a stubborn curmudgeon, or is there really something yeah. there that I'm missing? Well, let's take a look back. This is Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory versus Charlie, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Factory. Oh, 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 I've got a perfect puzzle for you. So yeah, which is there, Willy Wonka or Charlie? So let's get down to the main star himself. E yeah. That is the main star of Willy Wonka, <laughs> the Chocolate Factory. And referring to that, the in 1993, um, when Toy Fry opened his factory, it was called Toy Fry in the Chocolate Factory. But in 2017, when Fry opened his factory, it was called Mangle in the Chocolate Factory or Freddy in the Chocolate Factory. It's pretty much like Toy Freddy's Escape the Night series, where he basically he va he basically invites nine of his friends to with me to a certain time period, has us dressed in awesome costumes, and ends up having us nearly killed, including me. I'm still a little bit blamed for Toy Freddy for what what for. I still blame Toy Frey for my bin neck. Or throat. The title. Even though that movie was more about Charlie, and that Charlie and the Chocolate Factory was ironically more about Willy Wonka, so yeah, a exactly. marketing mistake in my opinion. <laughs> should yeah, harder, right? you, you better move on. Okay. Oh. Oh, the music was rumored. I'm pretty sure they didn't want to get copyrighted. Oh, let me guess. Best Willy Wonka. Yep, I knew it. These are two of my favorite actors, Gene yep. Wilder and Johnny Depp. Yep. Every time you see them, they're a ton of fun to watch, yep. playing a ton of different characters, ranging from kind and innocent to psychotic and... 
Moisa. Yeah. But which one is the best Wonka? Well, let's take a look at Wild. Ah, uh, yeah. He has the ideas and ambition of a child, yet the mind and demeanor. Ender told me that when he saw a toy, way his costume almost looked exactly like Gene Wilder's. Now, don't get me wrong, Gene Wilder is amazing. I'm pretty sure he was, he he was he was popular because of the whole his film that he starred in, which is of course Willy Wonka. From a James Bond villain. Okay, maybe not. See him, you feel welcome. Probably. Also, a little disturbed. Yeah, exactly. When you look at him, you have no idea what he's thinking. You just know that he already has everything planned out. Two naughty, nasty little children gone. Three good, sweet little children. Wow. You can tell he has patience, but only for the people and ideas that deserve it. Everything else turns into a blueberry. Hmm. <clears throat> because the nightmare. Because in 1993, Nightmare Mangle turned into a blueberry, but. Two years ago, I almost turned into, and let me tell you, I enjoyed it. I was first confused because everyone kept telling me that my skin was turning blue, but when I looked at my hand, I was all of a sudden excited. Yeah, you can tell. So, yeah, he's pretty fucking demented, but he was he also suave, that. elegant, mysterious, and when he needed to be, uh, yeah. Kind. This gave him an edge and allowed both children and adults <laughs> yeah. to identify him and join him for the ride. Johnny Depp, on the other hand, you smell like old people. Yeah. Hurt me. Yep. Now, don't get me wrong, I love Johnny Depp. Oh, uh, yeah. I think I recognize that um, the thing that he's standing next to, it was the exact same thing that Frey stated to, and I was told that the free course gum was had had was basically lunch breakfast breakfast lunch and dinner or fro or lunch dinner and of course dessert which the dessert part is yeah you can I heard before that the dessert part doesn't doesn't go well every time as I was reminded when I was done swallowing yeah. I'm all for reinventing what the Willy Wonka character is like, yeah, but I, I have tell. no idea what he's doing here. I, I always thought a Veruca was a type of wart you got on the bottom of your foot. <laughs> really? I guess the idea is that he's a lost child. And By the way, that that thing he just did was the exact same Freddy, same thing Freddy did. When the Oompa-Loompas were just singing and singing while I was just, just all... In disappointment, like looking up at me, and the Oompa-Loompas are singing. I saw, I saw, Freddy just doing that, and just all in excitement. Like, I just look at him as if he he wants me to explode. And just like 2018, both Freddy and Toy Frey almost get me killed. Because in 2017, he almost made me had me explode. From the juice, even though I was reminded that it doesn't make me explode, but it almost made me, it almost caused me to explode. In 2018, I was force fed by the snake one after g losing against L Yendo in the snake one challenge, and got my throat bit and got, and got force fed, and I almost got killed. I almost died. I almost bled to death. So yeah, those are two times that two of my friends almost killed me. A grown man's body due to his past, but yeah. nothing about him is consistent. He sends out golden tickets to find the right child to take over his factory, but when they arrive, he seems totally uninterested in them. Mr. Wonka, I'm Violet Beauregard. I don't care. It's, yeah, that's what I that's what I got the response when I told him that that I got the that I am chewing gum, he just said, I don't care. And I was like, rude. Don't you want to know all our names? I can't imagine how it would matter. What's wrong? Maybe because they'll be running your shit! So inappropriate find. Are you kidding? Yeah, exactly. The, the, 
just annoys the fuck out of me. Where is fancy bread? In the heart or in the head? Really? This kind of prize is a surprise. <laughs> oh, please shut up. It's sort of like watching a friend act really bad in a play, but you're in such a world of awkwardness that you can't tell him. Who wants a beard? Well, oh, let me guess. For one. Oh, let me guess. Freddy. Oh, my guess. Freddy said the exact same thing while me, on the other hand, chewing the gum. I've. I've. Yeah. Just like Violet, I just stared at. Help you while chewing my gum. My warm own gum, not the free course meal gum. I was just chewing while staring at Help He. Yeah, you can tell Violet is just just chewing her gum while she's staring at Veruca. I thought that I heard earlier in the film when I first watched it that they said best friend, but now Violet is just staring at Veruca all like Really? What's wrong with Violet? And yes, that's the exact same clothes I wore. Yeah. When the fact- when- when- when we were heading towards the factory, I- I put on the exact same clothing and when I- and almost the exact same f color of my clothes when it turned blue was the almost the exact same color, only different. But the white lines that changed was- was the exact same color when they changed when when my body was turned blue. Yeah. Just like Violet, I was literally staring at Help just while chewing the gum. I have no idea why Violet is just all rude and why she deserved her her um, her n almost exploded faint. All those hip, jazzy, super cool, neat, keen, and groovy cats. It's exactly the, the same thing that Help just stared back at me. For a second, and then that is just weird. Daddy -o, are you happy to the job? Can you dig what I'm laying down? I knew that you could slide me some skin, so brother. I you concerned. Yeah, yeah, that was good. That, that, that was yeah, good. I agree with start Plus, crazy. why does he look like a mix between Marilyn Manson and that Russian oh, chick from Indiana fought. Jones 4? We are the music yes. makers. And we, and are, we are, are the dreamers of the dreams. dreams. <laughs> You're really weird. Johnny, I love you, but everybody has to have at least one bad performance, and unfortunately, yep. this is yours. Yep. Point goes to the Wonka version. That's weird. Yeah. Well, it's fair enough that Gmar gets a turn or gets the winner. But what about the supporting cast? Oh, Which one is truly more scrum dilly cup? <laughs> scrum dilly. It's scrum dilly him. Just, just get it right. At least that one. Oh, never mind. Ah, uh, yes, best of point cast. In the Wonka version, all the kids are great actors and reflect the bratty stereotypes of yep. the time. In the Charlie version, eh. they pretty much got that down too. In fact, they updated. Eh, Mike TV is more obsessed with video games eh. than with television, and his parents are a lot more careless. Like Probably. the kind of hapless people who wouldn't mind letting technology raise their child. Die! 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 Yeah, I like the open more. <laughs> when I was about to say, I immediately cut the shot of Viola Bulgar with her with her ticket holding out. I can tell that she's in different clothing when she had the ticket and the famous clothes that she on when she entered the factory or when she she was with her mother at the gate, and for the rest of the movie until until she was last seen with her mother helping the Oompa roller. That was the exact same thing. I was last seen with, with, a little bit helping the Imbulbas roll me to the boat. Even though that I wasn't like Violet, I still ended up being rolled, even though I still moved, and the Imbulbas still thought that I would explode. But due to me hearing, Freddy say that I won't explode or won't make me explode. The Imbulbas still didn't listen to him, and just end up rolling me for- And while I was being rolled, I saw- I looked, and I saw one of the times that Freddy was dancing. He was dancing, and apparently I heard the song that was playing in the background. It was about how I was chewing and chewing all day long, while it was supposedly for Violet. It's almost like if Violet was in the same room like me, and now the Imbulbas both rolled me and Violet. And I would be jealous. And Violet would be 
a little bit more terrified, well, I would be a little bit more jealous. Yeah, you can, you're almost gonna tell why. Yeah, I can tell the Violet is kind of post, kind of like me, where I, where I ignore phrase warnings, chew the gum, turn blue, and almost turn into a blueberry. Only except Violet that I'm pretty proud. Date with Violet as they make her a winning obsessed champion. I agree and not just with a gum me. enthusiast. Yeah. The mother is updated too. Probably. Like kind of a perfect soccer mom who pushes her daughter's victories. I agree with Miss Dr. Gray. She looks more of a soccer mom. Violet's mother 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 looks more of a soccer mom. Violet's but did they really have to make him sing? I have a dream that I would climb over the moon in ecstasy. Good morning! Look at the sun! Shut up! Really? You had to? Even though that was a good song, would you just throw a tomato at his face and say shut up? That is unnecessary. Now that is just... Oh. I paused as soon as he was saying, well, I like the the Wonka version. Yeah, um, speaking of the Oomblubas and the Charlie version, when both, when I, in the chocolate room, when Toy Chica was in the pipe, they were in, I think, a red outfit. When I was being rolled, they were in a black outfit. I didn't see what happened to the others, but when I walked out of the factory of Lobits, I saw the others. One was being covered in trash, and the other ended up being a little bit mad. So, it's only fair that, yeah. But, when I looked up, I saw um, Foxy, Mangle, and Freddy in the glass elevator, and I was all like, a little bit. I will wish that I didn't chew the gun, but at least I did. And little bit are like, we'll talk about this later. Yeah, I can a little bit agree on this type of great. Even though I like the Wonka version of the Umbalubas, I know they're kind of weird. But to the rest of the world, it's kind of awesome. But the Umbalubas and the Charlie version, insane to me and the others. But probably a little bit weird. The rest of the people. Well, how do I put this? Even though Deep Roy is a really yeah. enjoyable actor and he has a big task playing every yeah. single Oompa Loompa, yeah. just erase from your mind for a moment that you've ever heard of an Oompa Loompa. You have no idea what it is. Which one of these would be an Oompa Loompa? Is this an Oompa Loompa? Yeah. No, that's just a little person made even smaller. That's a fucking Oompa Loompa. Orange face, green hair, weird as hell. No contest. But for me, the big deciding point is Charlie himself. And I'm just gonna come out and say it, I hate this fucking brat. Really? You're gonna say that Charlie is a brat? Well, for Mangle, she's not a brat. Even though in certain times that she was. When I was with her, she was kind of a little bit, um, sweet. But until I got to the adventure room that she started acting a little bit weird. Like, at first she was, like, just like me, afraid that I was going to explode. Until, while I was focused on me, focused on my swelling body, I guess Mangle saw how cute I was as a blueberry. And after I was, like, yeah, you, you'll probably... I'll tell you the rest of the story. I'm sure he's a nice kid. He's yeah, I can tell. Movies, but he is a friggin' saint in this picture. Really? Does everything right, never thinks of himself. He's You're a damn really boy scout. We need the money more than we need the chocolate. Well, he is a little bit more sarcastic. Give up my family for anything. Usually they're just trying to protect you because they love you. Every time I see his precious little smile, I just want to deck him. Really? What makes you feel better when you feel terrible? My family. <laughs> <laughs> The old Charlie was a lot more realistic. Yeah, exactly. He was a nice kid, but he was still a kid. He would get sad, he would get angry, and there's even moments where he would get greedy. I, I exactly agree. Any. In case you're wondering if it'll be me, it won't be. 
Just in case you're wondering, you can count me out. We don't look down at him for it. We just know it's all part of being a little boy. This kid could try out for Jesus. We'll share it. I agree with... I agree with Nostalgia Craig. I now agree with him. Mango can literally tr cry or try out for freaking Jesus. I mean, I, it's a little bit... I know it's awesome to that I look that I, I looked cute or adorable as a blueberry, but really, that she had to hug me? Literally, I was literally putting away my tab, my tablet into my bag, and I forgot that she told my friends that, that she was gonna hug me as a, as the quote-unquote, bl the blue, the cute blueberry, aka what she means that that by me and I forgot that she was running towards me until when I turned around she all sang I guess clung to me since it was getting a little bit to the point where I was getting too big for her to hug me so she just climbed me and hugged her arms around me and I was just all confused I was just confused to mangle she was awesome she was Literally amazed on how I was being cute or looked adorable as a blueberry. But to me, I was just in confusion. I was thinking, wait, why is Mangle hugging me while I'm swelling up? And while she was hugging me, I can literally see my belly or my body swelling huger and huger and filling up, filling up with more juice. And I was literally, literally just focusing my eyes on her even though I feel good for her for hugging me I still I still forgive her to this day it's just that why did she had to hug me I know it's cool that she said that I look like a cute adorable cute blueberry I can tell why I can tell why it's because when I looked at my stomach it looked it kind of looked adorable and when I saw that my legs were coming huger I just I just liked I just liked, I just liked that my legs and my stomach was getting bigger and bigger. Until I saw that um, I was linking juice through my um, pants, and yes, and uh, me just feeling more excited. But the more point that I guess I see why she said why I look cute. Probably she sees that my clothes, both my clothes looked cute and the and the fact that she also saw my eyes turn blue i i can tell why because when i was looking down on my tablet my eyes were dark green but when she, when but all of a sudden she, when she said that my eyes changed i guess she means that my eyes also turned dark blue or blue just like violet her eyes went from green to blue as she her eyes turned blue as soon as she looks at the audience I'm getting a little bit more distracted with this. Yeah. Not your birthday present. It's my candy bar, and I'll do what I want with it. Do this in memory of me. Are you gonna make a Jesus also, reference? Also, his performance is pretty bland. But what do you expect when you pretty much have no juicy material to deal with? Sure. Who knows? Of course. Can you remember the first candy you ever ate? The gates are always closed. All tight is charming. Ah. I can tell that Nostalgia Creek has had enough with Charlie. As I can tell, he's all like, and I am so charming, ha ha. I'm getting a little bit disturbed that I'm thinking that Nostalgia Creek is looking at my huge belly, but I'm guessing they stare in the camera in disappointment. I can't a little bit tell why now I now Mangle just hugs me, whatever, because she said says now I look cute, that I'm, that my stomach. Now she sees that I look cute as I'm being silent. Now she tells me that I look like a cute 732 pound person. And she says that my belly looks cute or adorable. Now I can tell why. But to me, there are problems where I just have troubles walking. Okay, I'm getting a little bit more distracted on saying that, that I'm fo being focused on the memories that I had from, from Frank's factory. 
Seeing how Charlie is one of the main characters as well as yeah, the focus exactly of the story. Yeah, I exactly start. Well, she did. Speaking of that, yeah, Freddy, on the other hand, he was just acting insane. Like, for example, like I already said, he just, he just looked suspicious. He just looked suspicious. When I was just running around, I turned around and saw that, that Freddy was staring at Toy Bonnie and, or when I was on the boat, I turned around Toy Freddy or Freddy was looking at me like he was just he just wanted me to turn blue even though I felt even though I know why and I felt excited when I saw I was turning blue but really did Freddy I can 100% agree Freddy was being a little bit suspicious when I when I looked over a bit I saw that he was smiling when he was walking toward the door to the entrance to the of the chakra room. It's like he... It's like he... No offense to Freddy if you're watching this, but... I I can tell why you kept, like, interrupting... Interrupting left D by calling him a mumbler, even though you're pretending to be a little bit deaf. Wow. I think it's only fair to give credit where credit's due. Point goes to the Waka version. Mumbler! <laughs> exactly! He just... He just... I felt I heard that Lefty felt spooked when Frey did that. He also went mumbler. Seriously, I can't. He just Lefty went went spooked. But I'm guessing Freddy wanted to do the exact same thing that Willy Wonka did, only this time with the gum. It doesn't. It. it I can tell why because in the Charlie version, both the Willy Wonka version, it the gum will apparently make. Or the juice will apparently make Violet explode. But for me, it didn't. I ended up being rolled on the ground, and I tried to tell the young bluebirds to get off. But they it literally ignored me, and they continued singing, and they literally rolled me. I felt, and plus to add to the, to the ag agony, I literally felt juice just just go just slosh and slosh when the Ambulubas were just just literally like pushing their feet or their hands and just oh, what is wrong with the Ambulubas? I know I feel even though I felt good when I was spelling up to a blueberry but I felt panicked when I they rolled me I didn't like it now if I were in the same room with me I would be jealous because who knows what happened if, if I, if the gum, if the swelling lasted longer. I wouldn't move at all. I cannot understand a single word you're saying. Yeah, I, okay, yeah, again, yeah, I'm walking this way. If you are wise, you will listen to me. But you can't have a musical adventure without music. Otherwise, yeah. you just have... An adventure! Yeah, music, which would of course. still be pretty amazing. In fact, maybe even more amazing because you want to have all that damn music around annoying you. Uh, yeah. I, I, I need something to off awkward with this. Thank you. Thank you! This is best music. And again, they mute the music. Wow, how original. Songs from Willy Wonka are known by pretty exactly. much everyone. They're catchy, they're timeless, they're household yep. tunes. The candy man can cheer up Charlie. I got a golden ticket. So who do you get to try and match uh, songs like those? Now the yeah, they go into the music for Nightmare Before Christmas yeah, is pretty good. Composer Danny Elfman has practically done all of Tim yep, Burton's movies, so he was more. pretty lucky that he also happened to be a songwriter. But how can you compete with songs that everybody knows and loves? Well, their solution was actually pretty clever. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can agree on this scene now. I look to my right. I look to my right, and I saw the Olympus in black suits walking towards me. I'm like, Freddy, please don't make them. Apparently, he's afraid that I'll explode. Even, yeah, I didn't end up like that. I end up having my arms kind of huge, but my legs on the hand were super huge. Not to the point where they're sucking in the body, no. 
But to Violet, it does. But to me, no. Yeah, exactly. They just walked. They literally were ready to roll me. And, oh my goodness gracious. Here until they enter the factory and are only sung by the Oompa Loompas. I can't, I can't want to sing the music. They start off with a 50s mambo. Yeah, they sang that while I was just chewing my gum in my non blue non-dark blue outfit. They just, instead of saying Gus's glue, they replaced the name with Toy Chica. And I st all of a sudden saw that that Frey was just, just again, dancing or just, just listening to the beat. Exactly, he did that. A 60s disco. Okay, yes. 100% they just they just they just all of a sudden landed they just stood they just stand in front the side of my body and just while that just using their feet to roll me while all I just heard them just sing and sing and sing while I heard my while I heard juice inside my body just swash and swash I know I feel terrible for Violet, but I feel a, a little bit good for me, but I was still terrified, and I kept on telling the Oompa to get off, but they just ignore me completely, and yeah, I feel like I'm more talking about Violet than, or mm, go, my experience on Violet than everything else. Wow. Song. A 70s hippie song. No, I never heard this. Well, even. Oh my god. Yeah, Clever exactly. Idea. The only downside is that the songs uh, while entertaining are pretty short and to be honest, not very good. Yeah. That is except for Oh no. Oh crap. I hate the song. When the curtains opened up, me and my friends were all sudden in disappointment. As soon as the candy dolls started singing, we were all in disappointment. It was annoyed. It was annoying the first time and me and my friends didn't want to hear it again. Oh my god! Yeah, I agree. I'm such a This song tormented yeah, so I many people once after they saw this play. It's so catchy, you'll bleed your brains out of your ears. <laughs> Even though it's so catchy, I agree. I agree with him. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. For God's sakes, I'll leave the place off my house. Okay, that's more worse. Really, you're gonna say shut up to Wonka? Okay, you might as well. But how does the rest of the music feel? Yeah, out? now I know. The the tone to set. Yeah, is a bit more probably. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Why do you call words on this word? Insane. But if I had to choose, I really do have to go with the original Wonka version. Eh. No disrespect to Elfman, but these are just classic, memorable, perfect songs. Yeah. I don't expect anybody to top them. Yeah. Again, point goes to Wonka. Okay. Once again, you really shouldn't mumble because it's kind of starting to bum me out. Would you please just stop <laughs> telling my cat he you know, he's ever know he's trying to be smart? But if there's anything you think Tim Burton would be able to outdo, it's the visual Ah, uh, exactly. I mean, this is the guy who said, hey, you know what that guy needs? Fucking scissors on his hands. That yeah. would make the movie work. Probably. But is it enough to save this reimagining? Let's take a look at visual style. Again, name me the... Okay, yeah. Now I know why he said visual style. Now I know why. One really is like apples and oranges because they both eh, have very yeah, distinct looks. I agree a little bit more. The Wonka movie has sort of a timeless feel, almost like eh. it could take place anywhere. But to be fair, the Charlie version does too. Probably yeah. Really knows how to take our modern day world and make it look like something out of a fairy tale. Probably. The cinematography and sets are just so exaggerated; they're absolutely perfect. Hey. But in a sense, that's also a problem with the film. The first half is so cleverly set up and visually clever that wow. it actually kind of loses its edge when it goes inside yep, the factory. I There's agree. a few too many things going on. It's a little too I dark agree. to make everything out. In Wonka's version, you could see everything fine. Yeah, and the strangeness was a great contrast yeah, to the typical everyday good. world we saw in the first half. But the Wonka version has problems, too. The film does have oh, sort yeah, of a that's 70s right. yeah. to the whole thing. 
And on top of that, the effects were good at the time, but are now a tad outdated. Yeah. The chocolate river looks more like liquid feces. Okay, no, yeah, now that's the stuff thing. It's polluted. It's chocolate. No, that's no, not. It's not. The Charlie version oh, of the yeah, no, chocolate. Yeah, it really looks oh, like you oh, can eat yeah. that stuff. The, they they little... did actually get the proper design of what a gobstopper looks like. I mean, what the fuck are those? Okay, no offense, but the gobstopper look more of a gumball. If I were, if I also understood that it, I would have afraid that I would probably do the same thing. If it wasn't tested right, then it would cause a, 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 a it would cause, probably cause the side effect, like change of skin, liquids start to rise up in the body, and then the victim all of a sudden finally moves. Can't you see? It makes everlasting gobstoppers. <laughs> no, that's a radioactive paperweight. I'm not sure what you smoke to see gobstoppers. Really? In the Charlie version, the factory never did look quite uh, right, but at least it did look more uh, like a factory, particularly in the opening credits. A close call, but I am going to go with the Charlie version. They just oh, had more money, more time, and a visionary it. in the ball to make it all look good. Yep. Point goes to the Charlie version. He's absolutely bonkers. Really? Okay, yeah. Finally, Charlie. Finally... Story. Of course. Which one tells their tale the best? Of course. Well, it's not waiting longer. And really? You gonna mute, mute that too? Really? While both versions seriously deviate from the book, I give credit that they both create their own vision of what they're trying to say. As I said eh. before, the Wonka version is more focused on the Charlie character, and the Charlie movie is ironically more focused on the Wonka character. Probably. So that's and I have to be honest, I went into the Charlie version expecting to hate it. But when it started, I didn't find it that bad. It seemed creative and felt yep. like it was trying to start yep. its own unique version yep. that actually kind of worked. That is, again, <laughs> until Dev showed up. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, the Charlie version is almost banking on the fact that you saw the other version. I feel if I would just stop staring at Veruca, pretty like much how I could so stop staring at Happy and how could you stop staring at me? Yeah. The film also shows a lot more. Like, I never really wanted to see Loompa Land. I had my own vision of what a vernicious canid looked like, and it did not look like that thing. <laughs> In fact, I still had my kindergarten drawing of what I thought one originally looked like. Really? I had issues. Really? It also bothered me how we don't know if the kid survived in the Wonka version, yet we clearly yeah, see them exactly. survive in the Charlie version. I think the message I mean, sticks much more to my kids friends when you did survive, but in the but in the original Willy Wonka, nobody knows what happened. Nobody knows what happened to me and really my friends we did survive. And unlike Violet, just does jumping jacks and cartwheels, I end up just touching my stomach. I should probably stop talking. Which is a lot more clever. My, they also explain that Wonka experience. is looking for children to win the golden tickets, not adults. I mean, Probably. how did he know in the other version that coincidentally five children and not five adults would find the tickets? I'm a trifle deaf in this year. Speak a little louder next time. But what really gets me are the morals. That's probably the weirdest part. The moral of the Wonka version is just always be good yeah. and true to yourself. Yeah, exactly. And one day you'll get your reward. Simple enough. Yep. The moral of the Charlie version, I guess, is to always be a kid at heart but be an adult in your mind. Don't spend your adult life being a little child. But that's more of a message for grown-ups, yeah. isn't it? You know, and unsuccessful comedians. <laughs> but like I said before, the number one problem with the Charlie version is that it was about Wonka. And it shouldn't be. Charlie is the focus and the character kids can identify with. Wonka is more like Merlin or Mr. Miyagi. He's yeah. interesting, but he's not the heart of the story. Yeah. That has to belong to the main character. Which is Charlie. His name is in the title of the book for crying out loud! Though I yep. don't hate it as much as I did in the past, it's clear which one's the superior version. The Wonka version. Ah, uh, it's Wonka. The old, the original, the timeless place. Ah, uh, yeah. Willy Wonka and the Charlie. The Charlie. Yep. Yep. If you are wise, you'll listen <laughs> to me. So the old wins this time around. Yep. As a special treat, here's the original music yep. from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory to play us at home. Oh no! Oh no! Oh yeah! Damn it! No! No! Yeah! That's even worse! That's worse! Alright. I'm not 
is enough. This is the final. This is the very, very last straw. Who is responsible for this? This, I demand that you show yourself. Who are you? Huh? Uh, what? What the frick? <laughs> That ended there. Wow. Well, I guess that I guess the old Willy Wonka wins. I guess. All right. Now for the final video. Oh, and yep, yep. It's called History of the Blueberry Fish. <laughs> and of course, you see a lot of, a lot of videos. Based around <laughs> what happened to Violet. Like, for example, audio stories. And what the frick is this? Now I know why Mangle said, I'm, Guys, I'm gonna hug the cute blueberry, aka me. And the dog says, Dog pie on the cute blueberry. So I'm guessing this. So. I stand before is basically the story of how a dog turns turns a a girl who listens to music and is embarrassed of the whole blueberry stuff and also makes her not move as she just as he just wants her to blow a bubble and I will wish that I was there if I was there before he said that then she would have been able to then she I would have been a if I was with her, and I saw that my, I was, and that we both were, our stomachs or our bodies were starting to fill with juice, I would spit out the gum because I heard possibly that if you spit out the gum, the swelling stops. I mean, you can spit it out any time, before your arms, get sucked into your body, yeah, pretty much. So, so. This is get get a little bit weird fast, and I mean a lot weird. Unity. Why is that? I'm the rogue warrior. Out of all the different forms of body expansion. Blueberry transformation is yep. without a doubt one of the most popular genres in oh the eyes of the expansion community. Why is that? I'm the Rogue Warrior. Join me as we go over the history of the fandom and find out. A subgenre of body expansionism, verification is a fantasy fetish in which a female or male turns blue, fills up with blueberry juice until they become spherical, immobile. Yep. Yep. Yeah, like you said, basically, 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 both for Nightmare Mangle and me. First, our skin turns blue, then our bodies start to fill up juice until for Nightmare Mangle, our arms get sucked into our body. But for me, my arms don't get sucked into. My arms end up being a little bit huge, but my legs end up being super huge. And transforms into a human yep. blueberry hybrid. Yep. The transformation process usually starts off slow, with the victim yep. first noticing their skin color and yep. clothes. Yep. That's what happened. Usually, what follows yep. next is the victim's stomach yep. expanding out first. Yep. Oh then my god. Oh. Filling up with gallons and gallons of berry juice until their clothes can no longer fit <laughs> them. The size of the blueberry can reach up to ten feet, or the size of a house. In some cases, even as big as a planet. It's up to the writer or artist to decide how big they want their blueberry to get. Who knows? <laughs> well, you already know that it started off really a long time. As a result of the movie adaptations of Roald Dahl's well renowned children's book, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. You're blowing up! I feel I'm wow. Going to go through each adaptations, blueberry transformation scenes, and see what made them so great to begin with. But before we do that, I'd like to go over violence transformation scene as yep. it was described in the very book that started it all. 
Roy Swanka shows off his newest invention, a chewing gum that consists of a three-course meal. Violet becomes angry and demands <laughs> to try out the gum. She's literally using, or he's to, as it is literally not ready using for consumption just yet. Violet then rudely grabs a piece of gum from the drawer and pops it into her mouth. Wonka starts to panic and urges Violet to spit the gum out. Her parents get worried once they notice Violet's skin color turning blue. Quote, Her body was swelling up and changing shape at such a rate that within a minute it had turned into nothing less than an enormous round blue ball. A gigantic blueberry in fact. And all that remained of Violet for a guard herself was a tiny pair of legs and a tiny pair of arms sticking out of the great round fruit and little head on top. End of quote. Wonka is genuinely a lot more concerned about the safety of the children than his movie counterparts. Of course. Stop, don't come back. Of course. Violet's transformation happens swiftly and does not linger on too long. For those of you hoping for a longer and detailed description of her transformation, sadly you won't find it there. Rogue Doll does a great job by adding tension and build up prior to her transformation. I highly recommend for any of you who are fans of this genre to check the book for yourself, as does lay a lot of the groundwork yep. for some of the great genre tropes found in Blueberry Transformation literature. Oh yeah, Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka. There is no life I know to compare with Our pure imagination. imagination. In the 1971 film, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, Violet was depicted as a preteen girl yep. and was played by Denise Nickerson. Yep. Violet's father is a prominent local politician and a used car salesman who uses yep. Violet's television interview for free advertising of his car dealership. Yep. Violet starts to inflate. Her belt blocks some of the swelling. Yeah. Once the belt pops off, her midsection is instantly filled with juice. I agree because when Nightmare Mangle's belt burst off, her 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 ba belly ends up immediately filled with juice. As her midsection keeps growing, her arms and legs <laughs> swell into exactly it, that's what I meant. A out blueberry. Only Violet's head, shoes, and hands are still in contact, but everyone, including her father, is still surprised due to her sudden girth. And before she can waddle too far, she is lowered to the ground by the own Palumpus. Mm -hmm. Would you roll the young lady down to the juicing room at once? Yeah. Oh, now you're gonna get to the home scenes. adaptation simulated the blueberry scene by inflating Nickerson in a rubber suit and composed mm -hmm. her outline in two yep. halves of a styrofoam ball. It took 45 minutes to get wow. her into costume. Nickerson was unable to yep, go to much during true. rehearsals. Supposedly, she was instead rolled around on set every five minutes to keep blood circulating. For the time, this effect is very well done, and does capture Roald Dahl's vision and depiction of the scene. Wow. Sure, it looks dated by today's standards, but it does have its own charm. Not to mention one of the first female inflation scenes done on film. Of course, you gotta go. Yep. Version. Violet is shown to be athletic and has yep. a vicious competitive streak. Yep. She is a lot more confident in herself than we had seen in previous depictions of her. Okay. Not to mention... Okay, now the picture that you... Or the the image that you're seeing right now is basically... um The same thing happened. I literally felt... Something, and then I turned around to see that my um rear end was filling up with juice more, and then I felt excited. But for ever for my friends, they were standing back. They were standing up back away from me, and as a result, my legs end up getting bigger and bigger. Downfall violent, yeah, exactly. The same thing happened, only I was excited. Swelling to an exponentially oh. higher rate than nah, the for me, Almost not exactly. Oh, okay, now, that's when, at three that's when the swelling stopped. When I was looking, when my arms were starting to become bigger, that's when the swelling stopped. And when that happened, yeah, you'll probably... Yeah. 
once she is in her oh my gosh that's oh my gosh just imagine if if it was from last day even oh yeah yeah exactly originally they wanted to use practically okay yeah now i know violent they would have simply used an inflatable suit that would have inflated from yeah. the inside however tim burton was not pleased with the results and opted yeah, to use exactly. cgi instead and he also wanted to make her a lot bigger as the smaller version just didn't turn out the way he envisioned wow created a whole cg body for her that we then animated her through her whole swelling process the whole process of her changing color her face swelling up and then her growing into this giant 10 foot blueberry wow technically extremely challenging work wow a digital character full screen intercutting with live action of the same girl and then cutting directly to cg trying to make that My seamless gosh. is a big challenge for us this scene is amazing the really? Up and tension are very well done and is very reminiscent yeah, I can of tell. a movie. I, can I also tell. love the way how they handled her transformation scene. The detail that was put into every body part swelling up naturally made it look mm -hmm. convincing. Not to mention it was nice that her transformation yeah, that's out from different stopped. camera angles. Giving us a great view of the size and scale she would end up growing. Without this scene. We wouldn't have the okay, pinnacle yeah, kickstarted no, the yeah, well-renowned exactly. blueberry fetish we have today. So you can all thank Tim Burton for that. On July 15th, five kids lucky enough to find a golden ticket in their walk of our oh, own chocolate factory tour of a lifetime with none other than that genius chocolatier Willy Wonka. I went to see the Tim Burton's Charlie in the Chocolate Factory like five times in the theater that summer when it came out. Just so I could see Violet's transformation scene again and again, no joke. Seen there as well, and boy was I amazed. Yeah. Until this point, I had not seen that many female characters getting inflated or expanded in media, and this was at the point where I was hitting puberty. It was like the most hottest thing that I had ever seen at that point. Seriously, uh, yeah, just like when she turned blue, puberty, mangle. Literally saw that mirror spun up as a blueberry. She literally saw that I looked um, cute or adorable or looked cute. My gosh. For those reasons, I tend to favor this version of violence transformation over the others. But when it comes down to which was the better movie. I'd have to say, I like the original film a lot more. Yeah, Gene I agree Wilder with as Willy Wonka with, was amazing. Um, Gene Wilder His was amazing. Gives the film a lot of heart and some of that childlike wonder, an aspect that the remakes just can't seem to capture. <laughs> Get ready for an all new original movie. Oh Is my god. Really? <gasps> oh yeah, the unsuccessful common Jerry movie. Most recently, Warner Brothers decided to shit out this atrocity. An animated Willy Wonka and Tom and Jerry crossover that nobody asked for. Exactly. Much to my dismay, I know some of you would probably be disappointed if I didn't include this rendition of violence transformation in the video. So here it is. Mm. Oh boy, that was terrific. And wait, mm. here comes the dessert. Blueberry pie. It's incredible. Sadly, just like the yeah. film as a whole, My violence gosh. transformation scene is bland and uninteresting. The tension and build up just isn't there, and the way how Violet swells up is done in a rather sloppy manner. She doesn't grow a whole lot. My gosh. And when she does, it's done mostly out of view. Once she stops swelling, it's done very abruptly. Just like the film itself, only clocking at an hour and 20 minutes, it is over just before you know it. Now that this is out of the way, let's move on. Oh my god. After the release of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory in 1971, the film slowly became a classic. Over the years, there have been a slew of parodies. Some funnier than others. Okay, yeah, now that's creepy. 
one okay. part that people like to parody oh the most is, of course, Violet's blueberry transformation scene. I'll ask you one more time. Are you sure you didn't eat anything in my factory? <laughs> no. I'm just asking. What are you calling me a liar? No, I'm just saying. Hey, shut up, Wonka. This is mostly common in TV shows or cartoons. Interestingly, the blueberry transformation could also happen even if it isn't directly linked to a Willy Wonka themed parody. It's amazing oh, yeah, just from how the one music bizarre video. scene has left the a music lasting video impact on the public from Ant Farm in the movie. It's certainly not oh showing my any God. signs of slowing down anytime soon. The aftermath from the blueberry fandom. Over the wow. years after the release of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, there has been a huge boom of blueberry transformation related fan art and stories being posted by passionate fans oh my on gosh. various sites like DeviantArt. Yeah. The fans have also taken it upon themselves to expand and build upon the lore. For example, a character no longer needs to chew Wonka's chewing gum in order to transform into a bloated blueberry. The transformation could simply happen if a character were to eat a blueberry pie, for instance. Or by magic, chemical exposure, you name it. By far the most popular alternative method of blueberry transformation is for an already transformed blueberry to unintentionally or intentionally infect the people closest to her. By lactation. Now that's disgusting. Causing the other person to be transformed into a giant blueberry as well. If the juice were to come in contact with the skin or being forced to drink it. Now some of you might be wondering, what is it exactly that we find so sexually appealing of somebody blowing up like a fat balloon? This differs from person to person. But the notable examples that fan- That's what I had in question. Why would Mangle find Q about me turning blue and turning and my body thrown out with juice? Yeah, that's why I had the question, but... Like I already said, now I know why she said why I look cute as a 